Good morning, Pastor Kurt here. Got a big question for you. Are you keeping those New Year's resolutions? Are you steady as it goes? We're four days in. Are you will powered up and or have you already given in? You know, all of us struggle to keep our commitments. All of us struggle against the giants in our life. I was looking at one internet site. It was people recounting how long it took them to violate their New Year's resolution. One guy is like, I'm not gonna drink Coke. 30 minutes in, he had a Coke. Someone said, you know, I'm gonna in 2018 keep all the resolutions I never kept in 2017 that I should have done in 2016 that I actually planned to do in 2015 and thought of in 2014. That's the way all of us are. We know what we should do, but we don't do it. Well, I got some good news for you. And it has to do with David. David is this guy in the Bible who started out as the youngest, puniest, scrawniest, most trod upon guy, and he became the ultimate king of the New Testament. He was picked by this prophet named Samuel. Samuel, he goes to this guy's house. He's got all sorts of sons. He looks at the first son. He says, man, this guy's got to be it. He's big. He's strong. He's the quarterback on the all-state football team. And God's spirit speaks to him. And what he says is so encouraging in this area of what God wants to do in our lives. Look at 1 Samuel 16, 7. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things human beings look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. This is a fundamental, a foundational idea about the character and nature of God. God is not concerned about how you dress, how you look. He doesn't dress for success or expect you to. God is concerned with your heart. Now, what does that have to do with New Year's resolutions? Two principles. I want you to get these straight. Number one, defeating giants has nothing to do with the giant. It has absolutely nothing to do with the giant. God could care less which giant you're trying to defeat. Principle number two, God knows you better than you know you. God knows how to create in you the strength you need to defeat any giant. What are the principles behind that? Well, you gotta come on the weekends. We're starting a new series all about King David and how he defeated the giants. Not just Goliath, but the multiple giants in his life. The giants of isolation and discouragement and fear and on and on and on. And God does it by building something inside of David that can defeat any giant in any circumstance. You gotta master this material. If you wanna, keep your resolutions and grow into the person that God has always wanted you to be. So get to church these next few weeks.